Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video inside of my world and today we're gonna be judging by the title of the video you have no idea what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be building a graveyard today as suggested by one of my followers and commenters which I'll soon to be shout out but you might be judging by the title of this video why does it say creating a universe well that is a fantastic question when I was building the graveyard inside of my creative world, because, you know, I like to do a lot of pre-builds before I actually build them inside the survival, I was thinking, I was like, dude, what if I just, like, made every single build in my world that just, like, compiles into, like, one massive lore or story? There's, like, there's gonna be layers to this world. I don't think you guys understand. There's layers. It's like a lasagna. There's layers to this. My world is gonna have lore to it. You, you, you never even heard of Minecraft lore. The most Minecraft lore you've ever heard of was stamping hit the target, all right? And that that goes hard if you guys haven't seen stamping hit the targets rivalry. Right, 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 right? I can't speak today. All right, but we're gonna shout out the people in today's episode. Whoops. Uh, before I shout out these four lovely people, I'm gonna shout out uh, again Calico Mari because he did recommend the last video that I should uh, change the floors to crimson blue or or, or and or maybe add some purple cracks to my wizard tower. And I was like, damn, that's a pretty good idea. So I'm gonna do some like experimenting with that, see how it works, how it looks. So we'll get to that. First person is King Charlick. I did uh, spell your name exactly how you wanted to. Then we got Hassan Kobasai. His comment is a perfect example of good criticism. He's like, the music was too loud. I, I checked back and I was like, holy crap. The music in my other video was way too loud. So good, good, good criticism right there. I recommend that. Then we got Rory Channel. Thank you so much. And then Emmy. Emmy is the reason why we're actually, or what we're building today. Um, they recommended that uh, we should build a graveyard next to the church. I said behind the church, but I was like, no, I don't, I don't really want to clear out room back there for the graveyard. But yeah, we're going to be building a graveyard over here. And the graveyard is actually going to be based off of some lore that I'm going to be starting this world. We're going to be creating a universe. I told you, there's layers to this. You guys don't understand. There's so many layers to this. I planned out everything. All right. <laughs> but the graveyard is going to be the first bit of lore that we're going to end. Well... I guess technically I'm gonna retcon the church into something new, but we'll talk about that later. And you might be saying like, what the, what the hell do you mean, universe cave on? Well, this is gonna be, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll explain it while I'm building the graveyard, all right? Okay, so we're just gonna start building graveyard. It's gonna consist of mostly black stone. And then in the center, the gravestones are gonna be mostly made of bricks and andesite. So we'll start building now and I'll explain the lore behind this build. All right, guys, this is future me speaking. Everything has gone to crap, okay? Nothing has gone as a way it should have been or the way I expected it. Everything has just gone terrible. As for creating the universe, I'm going to tell you the basic idea I had in mind, and it's still going to be the idea, right? It's just a story I created. Well, okay, I'll explain it, all right? So basically, I was going to be like, all right, I'm going to make every single build in my Minecraft world dedicated to the lore and the ever so growing story, which is a good idea, right? You have like builds that contribute to the lore of your Minecraft world. Except I, writ I had like written a lore and it was just like, I don't know about that one chief, it's just like the lore itself, the basic premise is good, it's just like there's a lot of plot holes and stuff and everything just doesn't quite line up so I don't really want to say too much about like what the lore is. Um, I'm going to talk with my friend Michael, oh good news, my friend Michael, uh, the one who I started the channel with has came back from basic training which is the reason why I haven't made videos with him for like the past couple months. So we're going to be making some videos with him pretty soon and he's going to help me like build the lore for this world and he's going to actually help me build some of the stuff for this world because it takes a while to gather all the materials and stuff. So yeah, that's great. Great news. Michael's here and everything's going to go good. Hopefully knock on wood because Michael is great and I'm not so great. <laughs> But yeah, uh, as for the title of the video, Creating the Universe, basically I have the idea to make every single build in my Minecraft world dedicated to building a universe and creating like a deep, expansive story in my world. It sounds really cool. It's not, because I'm not a great storyteller. That's why I have Michael. Michael checks my stuff in the story and he's like, this is good. I'm like, all right, this is bad. Well, shoot. So basically I had a story written and, or the lore basic premise and it just wasn't good enough the graveyard is i'll tell you what it was basically kind of based off um the events after the second great war, uh, war in the world that I, it's confusing now because like i haven't explained anything but that's a basic premise that goes to show you everything just doesn't make sense that's why i'm not gonna say anything too much about it because nothing makes sense so we're gonna clarify everything with michael because michael is great and he's a terrific person but 
As for creating the universe, I think the idea of making every single build dedicated to expanding the lore of the world is really cool. And I said earlier in the video I'm going to show you guys like the names on the gravestones. I'm not going to do that because I don't have the lore down yet. So I don't really want to like put down names of characters. I don't really know what their role is inside of my story. Ever so expansive. But the good news is I do have a couple more builds that I built inside my creative world that are ready to be built inside of the survival world. The only problem is one of them is so freaking massive that it may take hours to gather all the materials for. So not so great um i'm gonna have to build some smaller builds the problem with me is i like to build massive things and i'm like i need to build this in survival and i'm only one person can't do that so yeah that's pretty much the story of creating the universe inside my minecraft world and yeah we're almost done with this time lapse so let's just head right back into it thank you guys for staying with me thus far Alright guys, welcome back from the time lapse. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I have no idea. Future me will probably figure it out. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna quickly show you guys if I didn't talk about or if future me didn't already talk about it in the time lapse, yeah. I'll just quickly show you guys around what the outside looks like and the inside the graveyards. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I that stuff is gonna take way too long. I don't want you guys to be here for like a 30 minute time lapse. Alright, so uh yeah, we we gonna like uh you know we're just going to do a quick cut to when all the graveyards are done and then I'll quickly show you guys every single graveyard and some of them are special, the graveyards, so they got some names on them, then you got the basic ones, I'll explain it, I'll explain it, you guys will see, you guys will see. But as you can see, very simple stuff, um, some of you guys may ask, hey Bone, why don't you use a soul lamp, it may look better, because I'm too lazy to go in the nether and go get some freaking soul sand and then go make, yeah, it's just too much work, okay, too much work. All right, then we got we got polished blackstone and the fences going along like so some staircases are used right here to keep up lanterns and get a fence up top and that just pretty much goes like all the way around the front i do like the front because it's like this cool little like snake like pattern with the staircases i kind of like that bit and then you got the fireplaces which you guys can't see but they are like soul lamp fireplaces they don't really matter because no one's ever going to see that bit but yeah, so we're going to move on to the actual <laughs> graveyard now. I'm just going to cut to that part when everything's done, but I'll quickly explain it to you guys. There's going to be a big giant sword in here. I'm sure that I will explain that in the previous time lapse. I don't know. Future me is going to decide. Okay, you guys got to realize future me and present me are two different people, okay? We don't have the same thoughts, okay? In fact, future me is like a savage, okay? Future me makes present me look bad two, two different people two very different people all right but we're gonna add a big giant sword in the center i'll explain the lore behind that and then we're gonna add all the gravestones so let's cut to that part all right so finally now that we're done finishing all the gravestones i couldn't find a better time to record everything when it's dark and rainy a perfect time to show you the graveyard at nighttime and while it's raining very fitting as you can see uh quotation mark is giant sword is in the middle as promised and like i said i am future me by the way i recorded this after the time lapse so this is future me hello <laughs> but yeah we have all the gravestones here um as you can see each unique one should have a name or a sign on it with the name of the person but i'm not going to clarify what those people are yet until i figure out everything but let's just like i'll just show you around the graveyard real quick you see all these basic gravestones these are just like pretty much like unnamed soldiers that perished in the battle of the second great war you'd see over here this is probably one of my favorite gravestones pretty nice each one of them have flowers and stuff and you got some randomly placed uh, lanterns just because i couldn't find a better way to light up this build during nighttime but yeah it's just very basic gravestones nothing too like immaculate or amazing very humble i guess you could say and it seems like the animals love to just come into my graveyard and eat the grass for no reason so thank you animals i love you guys for that i'm not going to kill you after this video is done recording <laughs> anyways yeah pretty much basic gravestones uh some of them are just like what the heck is that and others are like all right i could kind of see that being a gravestone i try to make everything unique so that each person has unique gravestone this is probably the most unique one it's like a twin gravestone so for like siblings 
that want to be buried together. They have like a twin gravestone. Yeah, that's pretty much what that is. And yeah, this is like very simple. Most of them are just like one wide. Some of them are two wide. But most of them are one wide. A couple of them are like two wide, like I said. I think one is like three wide. Like the one over there is three wide. This one might be three wide. I don't know. But yeah, everything's pretty like simple here. Unique gravestones. I kind of like this build, how it turned out. Very humble and modest graveyard. Hails into comparison for the uh, wizard tower over there, which I probably should find a way to light up that body a bit. And the church, which I really like, and the enchantment thing over there. So this is a decent build. The big sword in the middle, which some of the lore behind that is like an ancient hero in a long ago battle. That was his sword. Very big. Like I said, not the best, so and the rain has stopped, which is probably going to be a good conclusion for the upcoming ending of this video. But you already know, as always, if you are new here, we always end off this episode by jumping off a tower with a water bucket, right? Is there any better way to end off a video than that way? Yes, there is. But this is the way we end our videos here. I'm going to run into a wall. But yeah, I'm going to see you guys up top. All right, guys, welcome to the top of the Water Bucket MLG Tower. And as the sunset rise, we will soon to conclude this video. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing. I promise you uh, the video content will get better from here. We are going to make some cool builds that actually have some lore behind them, like I promised. But for now, we're just going to stick with the ambiguous. We'll get to that lore part later. But yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Alright, this should be... Let's see if we can land this. Oh, dude, okay. I'm just gonna say it right now. I'm getting too good at this.